this tutorial, we're going to walk through how to add text boxes to your document. The first thing you may think is, uh, why would you need to add text doc, uh, a text box to a document that's already full of text? And the reason is that a lot of times you want to do things that can bring attention to a specific quote or an excerpt from a paragraph, that kind of thing. And it, it's a really good way of emphasizing that. Uh, the, to, in order to add a text box, you're going to go into your document and then go up to the insert ribbon right up here, click on it and then you'll see uh, just down here to the right text box and if you click that you'll see it's a drop down and you can select from a number of different text boxes they have some great styles and some presets that you can choose from if you don't like any of these uh, you feel and click on the side you'll see that there is a very wide range of text boxes to choose from. Uh, if you don't like any of these for some reason you can always draw a text box from scratch just like this and we'll put it right over here and then you can type in uh, anything. You can type in my great quote and down here go John Smith and I'll center it mm -hmm. I'll come up to the home one and center it. There you go. And to add things like uh, how it runs, or the text runs around, you can click here and then click on square and you can see it runs around it. Mm -hmm. That accomplishes what you're looking for, but it doesn't really look great. So I'm going to show you how to add another one that has a little bit more style. So we're going to go back up to insert go to text box and we will select this one the branded quote and you can see it drops it right in there you can click and drag this anywhere you want on the document we'll pull it put it up right here so you can see the way everything runs around it uh, you see it has a great kind of margin or buffer right here and then all you have to do to edit it is click on the text and then start typing. So we're gonna say my great quote. And we'll give this one to John Smith as well. And you can even do things like if you wanna give it more of a traditional uh, formatting style, you can come up to home and select the quote uh, attribution to go to the right. And then from there, you can always adjust this however you want. So if you want it to kind of fit in with, uh, with and give more room to the rest of the content, this is a good way to do it. If you have a big paragraph, so say you have this entire thing right here, we'll copy this and then come in here, paste it in. So say you had a lot more content, you could give it more room just like that so that's a great way to be able to add text boxes uh, during this tutorial you saw how to add a plain text box and also how to add a formatted one in uh, if you do want to change the formatting of it, it uh, word makes it very easy all you have to do is come click on that text box and then come up to format and then from here you have all your traditional drawing tools and your format options right here so you could change text direction you could give different text colors you can even integrate word art uh, if you want you if you look down there you can see as you highlight over certain items uh, you could even add some emphasis by uh, selecting a few words and putting word art in there so uh, all of the different formatting tools that you're used to with word you can do right in here with these other text box you can almost think of them as mini documents with inside your regular word document so they're a great way to add style and professionalism to your document if you have any questions at all on how to use text boxes please feel free to let me know